Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the brand new mass outbreak event that's running right now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and how you can get some easy shinies in your game. So off the back of that last Indigo Days trailer that we saw in the run up to its release on the 14th, we also had the announcement of a brand new mass outbreak event that's happening right now in Scarlet and Violet. The Mass Outbreak event will be featuring three Pokemon, two of which are only available right now, and they are the Flababy and the Litwick. We're not going to get access to the Milcery until the release of the Indigo Disc, which will be on the 14th of December. But after that date, it will become available and part of this Mass Outbreak event running for an additional week. The event itself will be running from the 7th of December and right up until the 21st. But like I've already mentioned, the Milcery won't be available until the 14th of December. And that again will run up until the 21st of December. So you're going to have about two weeks to take advantage of this event for the Flababy and the Litwick. And then once the Indigo Disc drops, you're going to be able to access the Milcery and take advantage of that one. So it gives you time now to get the initial two, the Flababy and the Litwick. Once the Indigo Disc drops, make sure that you do pick up the Milcery as well. Now, the big caveat about this event, unlike previous Mass Outbreak events where we've had increased rates for marks and things like that, this one actually increases the chance of these Pokemon being shiny. So the shiny chance overall is boosted on all of these Mass Outbreaks by 0.5%. Now, that doesn't sound like a big amount, but overall, when we look into the data in a moment, you'll notice it is a huge increase be able to get any of these mass outbreak event pokemon in their shiny forms so like we say the flababy will be available in all of its different colors you're going to have the red yellow orange blue and white and they will all have a rarity of the mass outbreaks of 20 percent appearing on your map i've had no problem really finding any of them except the white one which seems a little bit more rarer than the others but as the rarity odds are the same across the board it's more down to just my game and my rng rather than anything else so you'll be able to find these easily in your game and the flababy will only be appearing in paldea the other one that is currently running right now is going to be for the litwick and that is going to only be exclusively available in kitakami now you're going to have that 20 percent rate again of these appearing on your map the shiny rate will be boosted by 0.5 percent and it will just be exclusively for litwick in the kitakami region and again it will be running for the same exact time as the flababy now if we jump over to twitter because anubis one of the data miners from the community has put out some very useful information from her point of view in regards to the shiny raids breaking it down so you can see the new event outbreaks for flababy and litwick have a shiny rate bonus of 0.5 this is the first time these outbreaks have had an increased shiny rate milstery isn't out yet like we've discussed but if it has the same shiny rate bonus, these numbers will still apply. We're assuming when the Milcery mass outbreak is available, you'll still be able to access the Milcery with the same shiny rate. So it would make sense. When you go into a mass outbreak for one of these Pokemon, when you first start, it is going to be one in 190 chance of any of those Pokemon being shiny. So the odds are dramatically increased. So if you knock out or catch between 30 and 59, you then hit the next marker, which is going to increase the shiny odds to 1 in 182 then if you've cleared 60 which is the normal process of going into a mass outbreak you clear 60 of them it increases the odds to the maximum that is going to give you odds of 1 in 174 so that's without any sparkling power that's without the shiny charm or anything like that now the base rates with just sparkling power will give you additional rolls and make it 1 in 167 and then if you've cleared 30 to 59 with the sparkling power you'll increase your odds a little bit further to 1 in 160 then if you've cleared 60 pokemon knock them out or caught them with the sparkling power active you're going to have 1 in 154 chance so really a 1 in 155 chance of the pokemon being shiny and that's without the shiny charm so you don't need to worry about that now the base odds with just the shiny charm before you knock any of them out is going to give you one in 174 chance of these pokemon being shiny with the shiny charm and knocking between 30 and 59 out you're going to get one in 167 and then with the shiny charm and then 60 cleared you're going to have the odds of one in 160 with the shiny charm and then sparkling power level three when you rock up to a mass outbreak for the first time you're going to have one in 154 
Then you're going to have the shiny charm cleared between 30 and 59. The sparkling power active as well. You're going to have one in 149. And then you can cap out all of these odds with the shiny charm, knocking 60 out from that mass outbreak. And then the sparkling power level three active as well will make the odds as best as they can be at one in 144 chance of these Pokemon being shiny. These are ridiculous odds. So it really is worth taking advantage of these mass outbreak events when they are running, especially because it's going to be so easy, even without a sparkling power level three sandwich to get a shiny Pokemon from these outbreaks. So if you haven't accessed it already, what you need to do is make sure you are connected to the internet. Then once you are connected to the internet, come down to your Poker Portal and then down into Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal News. And that'll update all of the dens in Paldea and Kitakami and respectively in the Indigo Disc and the Blueberry Academy when they come available on the 14th. So you can then go and get the Milstery as well. So once you've done the update, you can come onto your map and you're going to be easily able to identify these mass outbreak events. You can see here, we know we're looking for Flababy because it is in Paldea and there is shimmering sparkles around the mass outbreaks, which indicates they are part of the mass outbreak event. So head over to where this is and then you can start the process of hunting for the shinies for these Pokemon with these increased odds. If you come onto your map and you're specifically looking for one color of the Flababy line and it isn't available on your map, you can respawn them pretty easily by using the date method. So you want to just hit your home menu, then come down into your system settings, down into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off into date and time and just toggle through all of these. Don't change anything. Hit that OK. Come back into your home menu and back into the game and it should respawn everything on your, your map. And then you should get the different colored ones if you cycle through this one until you, you find the one that you're after. And then you can head over to that one and hunt for it pretty easily. So when you come over to your mass outbreak event of the Flababy, I'd say that this is probably the hardest out of all three that will eventually be available in the game. Just because the Flababy is so small, you're going to have to use your camera function a lot of the time to see if it's shiny or not, if you aren't just using the knockout method. Now, I would advise just using the Let's Go function to knock out these Pokemon, uh, because you want to really, when you come over to the Mass Outbreak, knock 60 out to begin with. That's going to maximize your odds of these being shiny. There's going to be situations where you do come across the shiny in the run-up to knocking out the 60, so that saves you the whole time of using a sparkling power level three sandwich but i would normally advise the best method i've found for getting these pokemon is going to be knocking 60 out and then once you've knocked the 60 out is dropping a save now after you've dropped that save you can then set your sparkling level three sandwich up and you can use whatever recipes there'll be some references in the description down below if you want to take a look at those for fairy type pokemon and then for fire types for the litwig and then obviously when the Milstery is available later on when the Indigo Disc drops. You'll be able to use another fairy type sandwich as well for that one. So you can then set your sandwich up. And then because the Flip Baby are so small, you can use the method of just walking around, looking, getting your camera set up and checking each and every one. And then once you've checked them all, you can then set up your picnic, despawn everything on the field and then do that same process again. Or because you've got the save, it might be worth after you've set that sparkling level three sandwich up, just use the let's go function, knock out all of the remaining for baby in the mass outbreak and using the let's go function will be a good indicator without struggling to see the shiny in real time or using your camera. Because if you come across the shiny and your let's go Pokemon goes out to it, it won't attack it. It won't knock it out. It will just come back with this signal here, which will indicate that it's the shiny. I feel like this is the fastest method to be able to do this, especially because of the size of Flababy. It makes it so difficult otherwise to kind of be able to notice the shiny without using your camera, getting very close to it, etc. So that is basically the method that I used when I was doing it. And the nice thing is as well, after you've kind of started the first one, it's a bit of a snowball effect going on to the next color. If you are wanting to collect every single color of the Flababies throughout this event when it is available, what you can do is do this with the first color that you want to shiny hunt, come to the mass outbreak, get those 60 knocked out, drop a save, and then set up a sparkling power level three sandwich, which is gonna increase the odds to the maximum, especially if you've got the shiny charm, and then you can just knock out all of these Pokemon. If you fail to find the shiny before the mass outbreak event 
ends because you're only going to be limited to a certain amount of Pokemon in the mass outbreak. Then you can just reset your game, come back into it and kind of repeat the process. But the likelihood of that happening is very slim just because the odds are so good and you're kind of cycling through so many of these Pokemon in one space of time. You're inevitably going to get the shiny very, very easily. The alternative is you don't use a Sparkling Power Level 3 Sandwich if you want to just save your Herba Mystica. The odds are good enough anyway to do it without a Sparkling Level 3 Sandwich. It might take a little bit longer, but you could save your resources for the Indigo Disc when that does come out and do it that way. But after you find the Shiny, you should have a good amount of time left with your Sparkling Level 3 Sandwich, which then means you can go on to the next color of the Flababy and start the whole process again. But you're going to have that Sparkling Power Level 3 Sandwich active when you're knocking the initial 60 out. So the likelihood is in that scenario that you're going to find the shiny before you even reach the 60, meaning that after that you can move on to the next one. And I got four of the five colors with just one sparkling level three sandwich after doing this process, which was really good. It just left me with the white one to get in the end. Now that is how easy it is to get these Pokemon with this mass outbreak event when it's running. And then you can go on to get the Litwick. Now, the Litwick is a lot easier to spot as it, in its shiny form. It's a much bigger Pokemon when you compare it to the Flababy. So a lot easier to notice. And there are some really nice spots around the Kitakami where you're going to be able to hunt this pretty easily. Now, I did this method, knocked out 60, dropped a save, set up a Sparkling Power Level 3 Sandwich, four Fire-type Pokemon, and I ended up getting eight Litwick in the half an hour that the Sparkling Level 3 Sandwich was running. So I did super well. One of them had a nice mark as well attached to it. I ended up with all five of the Flababy in their Shinies, using only two Sparkling Level 3 Sandwiches in total for them. And I think that was just down to the fact that they're so small and I probably missed some along the way but I got the red one the blue one the yellow one the orange one and I got the white one as well and as you can see as well we got eight shiny litwicks as well from that one sandwich and this is the first outbreak that I went to cover in Kitakami for the litwick so I feel like I'm kind of done with that one now the odds are just absolutely ridiculous. But that's everything for today, friends. Have fun shiny hunting these Pokemon. Let me know what methods you've been using down below. Have you been using sandwiches to speed everything up? Or have you just not been using any Sparkling Power Level 3 because it's just that easy anyway? I'd love to hear down below on which one of the Flababies is your favorite. Looking forward to doing the Milstrew ones. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.